Welcome to this video on Speaking and Listening Standard 5. We will discuss using digital media in presentations. We will be covering the core standards in speaking and listening. Make strategic use of digital media, e.g. textual, graphical, audio, visual, and interactive elements in presentations to enhance understanding of findings, reasoning, and evidence to add interest. We will be covering the following. Identifying digital tools that can be used in electronic presentations. Discerning important elements of presentations. Creating an effective presentation. You've probably been listening to people speak since you were born and most likely have a good idea of how to figure out what people are saying and what they mean when they speak. We can give electronic presentations using different software like PowerPoint, Freelance, Corel Presentations, and Astound. There are many uses for presenting information to different audiences in different fields, education, government, business. We can also use tools like computers, presentation software, and LCD projector. Creating an effective presentation generally consists of important elements which are part of any presentation that you make. These are content, visual effects, and of course, presenting to an audience. Let's tackle content. Here are suggestions on how to go about the content or topic to be presented. Create a title page that includes the following. The title of topic, your name, course information, name of teacher, date, and any appropriate graphics. Tables of contents are important to give an overview of what you will be discussing in your presentation. You must use appropriate headings and subheadings in your content to know where you actually are in your presentation. Text should include only the most important points grouped appropriately. Use phrases identified by bullets rather than complete sentences. Limit the amount of text per sli slide, usually a maximum of seven lines. Provide some form of transition from one slide to the next for continuity. Avoid use of data tables. Instead, select relevant data to show in graph format, if possible. Select appropriate graphics carefully and integrate with text. The concluding slide should leave a strong impression. It may be a summary or a call for action. Respect copyright laws for text and graphics. You must use a bibliography and credits for resources that you have used in your presentation. Let's proceed to the visual element of your presentation. Here are some suggestions on how to go about your visual element. Select or create a template and use it for all slides. Select a background and text colors to provide contrast for easy viewing. Determine font style, sans serif styles such as Arial, Comic Sans, and Tahoma are recommended for clarity. Minimum font size should be at least 24 so it's easy to read from anywhere in the room. Use font variations such as bold or italics in size for emphasis rather than changing font types. Select graphics carefully and use in moderation. Determine size of graphics for visibility. Integrate graphics with the text for maximum benefit. Use special effects, movement and sound, sparingly. Effects should not compete for attention with the content of the presentation. Here are some suggestions on how you will be able to relay your presentation to your audience. Review the presentation for overall effect and impact. Ask a friend to review your presentation and provide feedback. Conduct a dry run with all the equipment that you will use. Place your screen or display for a clear line of view from all parts of the room. Presenters should face the audience, preferably standing in front of the room near the screen. Consider using an assistant to operate the computer and advance the so slides. Use prepared notes to expand on key points identified in the slides. Determine appropriate pace of presentation. Going too fast is always a problem in giving presentations. Volume and clarity of voice are important. Eye contact should be established and pace should allow for audience questions. 
Why is this important? Using presentation software is to enhance a presentation so you're able to present visually to help understanding of the topic being discussed. You can use this information for any kind of visual presentation. For example, salespeople could use this information in business meetings to give a presentation of a new idea. There are many applications for this. Let's do an activity. Create a presentation in class about a current lesson in one of your subjects. Apply all the suggestions that were discussed in this session. Ask for feedback from your classmates or groupmates. Why do I need to use presentation software? Can't we just use the board? Yes, you may use the board, but presentation software provides an enhancement of your presentation by giving a visual representation of what you are discussing. It will help your audience remember and easily understand the concepts that you want to convey. Where can we borrow equipment for our presentation? Equipment is usually available in school. You may ask your teacher how you will be able to use this equipment. Can I just show the presentation and read from it? Reading from your presentation may lead to your audience being inattentive to your discussion. It will be better to give a personal touch in your presentation so that the audience will be able to relate to what you were saying and explaining. As a student, you're expected to use strategically digital media to enhance understanding of findings, reasoning, and evidence, and to add interest. We've come to the end of our session. In this session, you have learned creating a presentation using a multimedia tool, organizing content to use in a presentation, using visual effects in your presentation, giving an effective presentation to your audience. By the end of this session, you should know or be able to do the following. Identify digital tools that can be used in electronic presentations. Discern important elements of presentations. Create an effective presentation. This information should help improve your speaking and listening skills. Good luck with your speech!